<laughs> scanner brain. You read an entire page, then realize you don't remember a single word. This glitch happens when your brain goes into passive mode. The eyes keep moving, the words register visually, but comprehension doesn't activate. It's like running a program without hitting start. This usually happens when you're stressed, tired, or thinking about something else. Your brain checks out but keeps pretending to work. You weren't lazy. You were just on autopilot. Most people scroll back up, reread it, and hope it sticks the second time. Mental autocorrect. You read a sentence and swear it said something else, then look again, and it's completely different. Your brain wasn't reading the words, it was predicting them. This glitch happens when your mind fills in what it expects to see instead of what's actually there. It's fast, automatic, and usually right, but when it's wrong, it feels like the world just glitched. A normal message turns into something suggestive, weird, or totally out of context. And the scariest part? Your brain is completely confident it got it right, even when it didn't. The name face freeze. You know the face. You've seen them before. You even remember the last conversation you had. But their name? Gone. Your brain stores visual recognition and verbal memory in different places, and sometimes they don't sync up. The face file loads instantly, but the name file crashes. That's why you'll stare at someone, smile, and say, hey, um, you, while silently panicking. It usually comes back later when it's no longer useful. This glitch doesn't mean you're rude or forgetful. It just means your brain forgot to connect the dots in time. Digital Thought Wipe. You unlock your phone, open an app, and suddenly forget why you opened it. This isn't just distraction, it's a brain glitch. The act of opening an app triggers multiple stimuli at once. Icons, messages, red dots, etc. All pure dopamine. Your original intention gets overwritten before it finishes loading. It's like clicking too fast and canceling your own command. You didn't forget. Your brain just replaced the task with a shinier one. Most people blame themselves, but this is a normal part of cognitive overload in a world with too many buttons. Thought blocking. You're talking. Then mid-sentence, your brain just stops. It's like someone pulled the plug on your train of thought. This glitch happens when your working memory gets interrupted. A stray noise, a sudden emotion, or even a random thought can knock the whole thing offline. You know you were about to say something important, but now it's just static. You try to recover, but the harder you reach, the worse it gets. Most people just laugh it off or switch topics. But your brain is quietly buffering in the background. Verbal echo. You say a word twice in a row without realizing it. Sometimes three times. The sentence makes sense in your head, but when you hear it out loud, something sounds off. This glitch is a speech loop error. Your brain thinks it already moved forward, but your mouth didn't get the message. This is especially common when you're speaking fast or under pressure. Most people don't even notice until someone repeats it back. It's harmless, but weirdly satisfying when you finally catch it yourself. Like finding a bug in your own code. The song lyric hallucination. You've been singing the wrong lyrics for years, and you're completely sure they're right. This glitch happens when your brain fills in unclear sounds with words that make sense to you, even if they're not the actual lyrics. It's called the Mondegreen effect. Your brain wants closure, so it makes a confident guess. And once it locks in, it's hard to unhear. That's why sweet dreams are made of cheese. Sounds just as real as the original. Even after you know the truth, part of your brain still sings the fake version. Chronostasis. You glance at a clock and the first second seems to last longer than it should. This isn't imagination, it's real. When your eyes jump quickly, your brain briefly stops visual processing. To make up for the lost time, it stretches the image backward. The result feels like time paused just for a second. It happens every day, but most people never notice it. Until they do. Once you spot it, it's hard to unsee. And it makes you question how stable your sense of time really is. Inattentional blindness. You're looking right at something, but somehow you don't see it. Your keys are on the table. Your glasses are on your head. Someone's waving right in front of you, but your brain skips it. This glitch happens when your attention is focused elsewhere. Your eyes collect the information, but your brain filters it out as irrelevant. It's not bad vision. It's selective processing. Your mind prioritizes what you're expecting and sometimes ignores what's actually there. This is why magicians thrive, and why your phone disappears into thin air while still in your hand. Phantom notifications. You feel your phone buzz, but there's nothing there. This is a tactile hallucination caused by hypervigilance. Your brain is so used to constant alerts that it starts inventing them. A twitch, a shift in pressure, even a muscle spasm gets flagged as a message. Your phone becomes a nervous system extension, and your brain starts checking for signals that don't exist. Most people shrug it off, but it happens to millions of people daily. Mirror delay. You pass a mirror and, for a split second, don't recognize your own face. It feels like a stranger's reflection, just long enough to unsettle you. This happens because your brain isn't expecting to see yourself from that angle or lighting. It sees the shape, posture, expression, and runs it through its recognition system. But sometimes, that process lags. The face loads before the That's Me tag arrives. It's fast, harmless, and mostly forgotten. But for a moment, your brain thinks you're someone else and reacts like it.
emotional mismatch. Someone says something small, and you overreact. A simple question feels like an attack. A compliment makes you suspicious. This glitch happens when your emotional response doesn't match the situation. It could be caused by stress, sleep loss, past experiences, or nothing at all. Your brain misfires the wrong signal, hitting the panic button instead of meh. This is how tiny moments turn into full-blown spirals. Your reaction feels real in the moment, but later you realize it made no sense. Sleep talk logic. You're half awake, saying things that make no sense, but they feel completely normal in the moment. This glitch happens during the transition between sleep and wake. Your speech system turns on before logic boots up, so your mouth starts broadcasting without a filter. It's not a dream. It's not quite reality. It's something in between. Sometimes you catch yourself mid-sentence and shut it down. Sometimes you don't. And by the time someone asks what you meant, you have no idea what they're talking about. Motor memory override. You plan to take a new route, but your body goes the old way. Your brain agreed to turn left, but your hands already turned right. This happens when routine actions are stored in procedural memory. Your brain runs them on autopilot to save energy. The moment you stop paying attention, it defaults to the most practiced version. That's why you drive to your old house without thinking. Or open the fridge when you meant to grab your keys. Your mind knows the plan. Your body just didn't get the update the daydream takeover. You're in a conversation, nodding, listening, and then suddenly realize you missed everything they just said. Your brain had wandered off and started building a fake scenario, a comeback line, a movie scene, a full-blown argument that never happened. This glitch is triggered when focus drops and your brain defaults to its simulation engine. It's creative, vivid, and totally disconnected from the real world. Then you snap back, pretend to laugh, and hope they didn't ask you a question. You weren't zoning out. You were writing fan fiction in your head. Word substitution. You mean to say one word, but a different one comes out. Instead of glasses, you say masses. This happens because your brain stores similar words close together by sound, category, or function. When you're tired, distracted, or multitasking, the wrong file gets pulled. It's like a muscle memory for language, but slightly scrambled. Most of the time it's harmless. Sometimes it's hilarious, especially those who you talk to. Your brain knows what you meant, but your mouth just went freestyle. Social script malfunction. Someone says enjoy your meal and you automatically reply you too, even though they're not eating. This glitch happens when your brain loads the wrong social script. You have pre-programmed responses for common interactions, but sometimes they fire at inappropriate times. Your mouth runs the most recent polite response while your brain is still processing the actual situation. By the time you realize the mistake, it's already out there hanging in the air like verbal spam. Temporal displacement. You check the time, then immediately check it again, because you didn't actually process what you just saw. The numbers registered, but your brain was running something else in the background. It's like your eyes took a screenshot, but forgot to save it to memory. This happens when you're mentally overloaded. You go through the motions of checking time without actually checking time. Ever had one of these glitches? Let me know in the comments. I'm reading all of them.